Živio. Today we will be talking about the Slovenian language. Slovenian, Slovene, or Slovenski Jezik is an Indo-European, Balto-Slavic, Slavic, Southern Slavic language spoken by around 2.5 million people as of 2010, primarily in the country of Slovenia. What a surprise, right? Other Southern Slavic languages consist of Bulgarian, Serbian, Croatian, and Macedonian. The Slavic language tree as a whole consists of many Eastern European languages such as Czech, Russian, Belarusian, and a few others. Slovenian is the primary language spoken in Slovenia, although Italian and Hungarian are recognized as official minority languages within the country as well. Now, let's talk about history. This way you folks will have a good, well, at least somewhat good, understanding of the language itself. And as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Language Digest videos. So taking it a big step back, apparently the first inhabitants of modern day Slovenia were Neanderthals who settled in caves during the last glacial period. Okay, this is way too far back. <clears throat> around 500 BC to around 100 BC, the Illyrian tribes, who are the ancestors of modern day Albanians, as well as the Celtic tribes, settled in present day Slovenia until eventually the Romans ran up on them and, well, did what the Romans do best and conquered the people and made it part of the Roma Italia government. Now, while being conquered by your next door neighbor may not be the best thing to happen to your homies, having Rome as your follow-up may not be the worst thing either. I mean, having the largest and strongest empire and their military looking after you will probably give you a good feeling of security. Well. At least until the boys from the hood pull up on you and shoot your ass in the back. Now I'm referring to the barbarians, who came and violated the Roman Empire forcing them to abandon modern day Slovenia in around 300 AD. It wasn't until around 500 AD that the Slavs arrived in what we call Slovenia, and 700 AD that the Franks pulled up on them took control, then in 800 AD the Holy Roman Empire took control of Slovenia and sent missionaries to convert the Slavs, often referred to as Alpine Slavs, to the hot and trending religion of Christianity. Shortly after, scholars believe is when phrasing manuscripts, the oldest written texts written in Slovenian, were created. To make a really long story short, the Habsburgs came in around the 14th century, the Slovenes rebelled many times in the 15th and 16th centuries, then the Ottomans tried to invade Slovenia, they lost a major battle, the Battle of Sisak in 1593, the Slovenes were about to become Protestants, but the Catholic Church pulled up and reminded everyone who's really number one. Fast forward to the 1800s and Slovenia was absorbed by the Austro-Hungarian Empire, although not long after the Slovenians started to demand independence from the Austro-Hungarian rulership. They hit up their boys in Serbia and Croatia, and under the rulership and leadership of King Peter I, they created a new state, and this king was nicknamed the first Yugoslav king. Meanwhile, the Slovenian language prospered, and more and more books were written in the language, while the Kingdom of Yugoslavia tried to encourage them to use Serbo-Croatian, the Slovenes rejected this idea and stuck to their native tongue. Even during the Second World War, the Slovenes were determined to keep their independence, and many Slovene partisans fought against the Nazi regime. Eventually, they would be absorbed by Yugoslavia and were ruled by Josef Broz Tito. Yugoslavia dissolves in 1992, Slovenia becomes independent, and went broke like the rest of the Eastern European countries after the fall of communism. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the language itself. Slovenian is an SVO language where the subject comes first, the verb comes second, and the object of the sentence is last. Although, the word order does have some flexibility. Another facet is that Slovenian has a dual grammar structure. In English we say you as in you singular and you all as in you plural. But imagine there was a dual person form. It would be something like you and you two as in you two people, although this is primarily used when placing emphasis on duality. For instance, take the word leg, noga, and if you wanted to say my leg, it would be moi noga, and if you wanted to say my legs, it would be moi noge. But if you wanted to say something like both of my legs, you would say something like moi nogi. Moi nogi would be read as something like my legs, almost implying that you had more than two legs, while moi nogi would be more appropriate. Some Semitic languages like Hebrew and Arabic share this grammar feature as well. For instance, in Hebrew, the word for day is yom, the word for days or two days is yomayim, and the word for days, anything more, is yomim. Slovenian also has six cases, which include nominative, genitive, dative, 
accusative, instrumental, and locative. Cases allow for Slovenian to be a bit more flexible with their word order, although as mentioned earlier, it will typically follow the SVO order. Here are some Slovenian phrases. Dobre utro, good morning. Dobre dan, good afternoon. Dobre večer, good evening. If these sound familiar, it's because they're also very similar to what has been used in other Slavic languages such as Bulgarian and Russian. Danes je sonce, today the sun is shining, which literally means today shines sun, which follows the standard SVO word order. Vreme danes je zelo lepo, the weather is very nice today. Kako ti je ime, what is your name? This is an informal way of saying it, and kako vam je ime is what is your name in a more formal way. Lastly, Slovenian is a pro-drop language, which basically means pronouns are not necessary unless they cannot be inferred in the context of the sentence. In English, it would be something like this. I need to go to the doctor today since X feels sick, where X is not necessarily written, but implies the pronoun I. If you'd like to learn more about the Slovenian language, I will leave some links in the description below to help you get started. And before I end this video, I want to quickly thank each and every one of you who have supported this channel and helped us reach over 600 subscribers. And as always, if you enjoy these videos and want to see more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. That's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Se vidiva pozneje.